I think my chances are even better than they were, um, improving on good from the last time around. Um, the election in 2020 was certainly an exciting one. It was a new challenge I was taking on. This time around, just about this time around, just about 13 months later, having been elected on November the 11th, 2020, um, I'm a candidate that is still new in terms of um, the service to the people of St. George North, but definitely more seasoned, having had the opportunity to visit a number of households, even after the last election and touching base. We started on that mission mid last year and have been making our way down through the constituency. There are, there are about two polling districts that we have not covered in the post-2020 campaign canvas. That was definitely our intention, but the bell was rung early. And we now have the opportunity during the next two weeks to make good on that. And I am sure that the will of the people of St. George North will be to keep more in St. George North for the Barbados Labour Party. Yeah. So, we look forward to it. What are, what are some of the things that you accomplished that you're most proud of in this transition? The thing that I am most proud of actually is relationship building. That has been high on my agenda all during the 2020 campaign. People of St. George North, all they said repeatedly, whether we were in Ashbury or Newbury or British Court or Superlative or down in the Glebler Estate, Glen was a people person and we want another people person. And so building relationship was one of the things that I committed to and that I've been proud of. Well, I have not completed, as I said, go, going to all areas. The process has started and we are more than 70% there and that is something that I'm extremely proud of. But then there were some projects and I think that's where your question would go. But for me, I'm a people person, so that comes first. There are some projects we were able to complete the project at the Glebe. We were able to give the people, the residents of Bridgeco, a road that they waited over three decades for. And that's just a signal of our intention to make good on other areas, Tarp Scottish, Sweet Vale. There are roads across, enough roads cross St. George North want fixing and we will be giving attention to those systematically over a next term. And we can only do that if there's a next term. Then of course, jobs. There, um, last week, as recently as last week, I was receiving a comment. I don't see guys in the church bottom as much anymore. And that's because one of the things that we have done, wherever opportunities presented themselves, we have been able to place a number of young people in employment. And that's something that I'm also very proud of. We will continue. My time here was very short. 20% of what a normal term would be. And I am exceedingly proud to be standing here in the name of the people of St. George North, knowing that a good job has been done so far and knowing that they will honor my commitment to continue to work on their behalf.